Aldi and Lidl are similar supermarket companies with two different histories and generating different revenue. How do both companies compare with each other? Welcome to the BizPage channel. In this video, we will be looking at the histories of Aldi and Lidl, to see how they have become the companies that we know of today. If you haven't already, then be sure to leave a like on this video and subscribe to the channel for more valuable content. Now without further ado, let's dive in. Let's start by looking at the history of Aldi. Aldi was founded by brothers Carl and Theo Albrecht. Carl Albrecht was born in 1920 and Theo Albrecht was born in 1922. In the year of 1913, a number of years before the brothers were born, Carl and Theo Albrecht's mother established a small store, located in a suburb of Essen. Their father worked as a miner and then a baker's assistant later on in his career. When the brothers were born and growing up, Theo Albrecht completed an apprenticeship in his mother's store, while Carl Albrecht got employed in a delicatessen. As time went on, Carl Albrecht took over a food shop formerly run by F.W. Jute. In the year of 1945, the brothers took over their mother's business and began expansion by opening another retail outlet nearby soon after. By the year of 1950, the Albrecht brothers had opened 13 stores, located in the Ruhr Valley. Ten years later in the year of 1960, the brothers split the company over a dispute about whether they should sell particular products that may have attracted the wrong customers. Carl had stated that the products to be sold may attract negativity, however, Theo did not believe this. At the beginning of the 60s, the brothers jointly owned 300 stores that were generating around $56 million per annum in today's money. In the year of 1962, the name Aldi, short for Albrecht Discount, was introduced for the first time. Aldi Nord and Aldi Sud have been financially and legally separate since the year of 1966. The brothers originally owned and managed the groups. However, after the passing of Theo's son Berthold, Aldi Nord continued to be controlled by the Albrecht family through its Marcus, Lucas and Jacobus foundations. These foundations held a combined 80.5% of the company's issued capital. The year of 1967 was significant for Aldi. It was in that year when Aldi began expanding internationally. This happened when Aldi Sud acquired the grocery chain Hofer in Austria. In the year of 1973, Aldi Nord established stores in the Netherlands and other countries followed. Three years later in 1976, Aldi opened its first store in the United States. The store was located in the state of Iowa. In the year of 1979, Aldi Nord acquired Trader Joe's. In the early 1990s, Aldi's expansion of the company increased. Along with this, the brothers retired as CEOs in the year of 1993. The company control was placed in the hands of private family foundations, the Seatman Foundation for Aldi Sud and the Marcus Foundation for Aldi Nord and Trader Joe's. It was known that the Albrecht brothers were both very reclusive and did not go out much during their lives. They separately passed away in the year of 2010 and 2014. To this day, Aldi owns approximately around 11,000 stores in worldwide locations. In the year of 2018, the Aldi company was able to generate around close to $92 billion. Are you enjoying the facts being given so far? If you are, then be sure to leave a like on this video and visit the channel for more valuable content. For more information, then be sure to read the video description below. Let's now take a look at the history of Lidl, which has quite a different story. In the year of 1932, Joseph Schwartz became a partner in Sudfrucht Grosshandlung Lidl & Co. This company was a fruit wholesaler, which later became a general food wholesaler. Fast forwarding to the year of 1977, years of growth and expansion had passed. With the help of Joseph's son, Dieter Schwartz, the Schwartz Group began to focus more on discount markets, larger supermarkets and cash carry wholesale markets. At first, the name Schwartzmarkt was not wanted to be used. The name of Joseph Schwartz's former business partner, A. Lidl, was a candidate to be the name used for the company. However, a number of reasons, including legal reasons prevented him from taking over the name for his discount stores. When Joseph found a newspaper article about the painter and retired schoolteacher Ludwig Lidl, he bought the rights to the name from him for around $622 in today's money. Lidl is part of the Schwartz Group, which is the fifth largest retailer in the world. In the year of 1973, the first official Lidl store was opened. 
They also followed the Aldi concept. Schwartz rejected any merchandise that was not selling or gaining customer interest. The costs were also cut by keeping the size of the retail outlets as small as possible. By the year of 1977, the Lidl chain consisted of 33 discount stores. Fast forwarding to the year of 1994, Lidl opened its first store in the UK. Since that point, Lidl has become increasingly popular in the UK and has over 800 stores. Even though Lidl is smaller than some supermarket companies in the United Kingdom, it still serves as an important part in the shopping market. The same also applies to Aldi. In Christmas of 2014, it is said that half of the UK's shoppers choose to go to Lidl or Aldi. In March of 2014, Sven Seidel became CEO of the company. This happened after the previous CEO Carl Heinz Holland stepped down. Holland had been CEO since the year of 2008. Seidel then left the position in February 2017 after Manager Magazine stated that he had fallen out of favor with Klaus Gehrig, who had been leader of the Schwartz Group since 2004. Seidel was succeeded by Dane Jesper Hoer, who was previously head of Lidl's international buying operation. In June of 2015, the company established a headquarters, based Arlington, Virginia, USA. Lidl has main distribution centers in Mabin, North Carolina, and Spotsylvania County, Virginia. Originally, Lidl had focused on opening locations in East Coast states. Locations would be between Pennsylvania, Georgia and as far west as Ohio. Two years later in June 2017, Lidl opened its first U.S. stores in Virginia Beach, Virginia and other mid-Atlantic cities. The company had a plan to open 100 U.S. stores by the summer of 2018. In November of 2018, Lidl had made more plans to acquire 27 best market stores in New York and New Jersey. In December of the same year, Lidl opened its first location in New York City, located in the Staten Island Mall. The company now has plans to open 50 new stores in U.S. by the end of 2021. Today, Lidl owns approximately 11,200 stores worldwide. In the year of 2019, reports have stated that Lidl generated around $108 billion for that year. Both Aldi and Lidl are similar in terms of design and look, however they both have unique histories and backstories. Which company do you prefer to use? If you did find this video interesting and you learned something new, then be sure to leave a like, a comment, and subscribe to the biz page for more valuable content. Thank you for watching.